Alright, so we're back with another decode. This is going to be on the City of Seattle, Kurt Cobain, and more. So, the anniversary of the settlement of the City of Seattle was a span of 223 days after Kurt Cobain died in Seattle. And not only that, but, you know, connecting... Kurt Cobain to Seattle, you know, his band Nirvana contributed to the grunge movement that emerged out of Seattle. Um, but this is significant because 223 is the 48th prime number. Seattle was founded on the day leaving 48 days in the year. Um, in 1994, Kurt's body was found a span of 48 days after his birthday on 4 slash 8 by an electrician named Gary Smith, a name equating to 48. Furthermore, homicide equals 48 because the death of Kurt Cobain was not caused by suicide. And if anybody believes that it was, you're just a fucking moron. <laughs> Sorry to say, but it's true. You could say that the Illuminati was behind his death as well, although to be more specific, it was the Jesuit order that had their fingerprints all over his death, as I've covered before in, like, posts here and videos, but anyways, the Illuminati, you know, created by a Jesuit, and the word Illuminati equals 48. Okay, so, I'm, I'm hopping over to this other post of mine, uh, so we're gonna stay on the 48s real quick. Kurt Cobain died in a like, Buddhist ritual, I would call it, um, because he, he, his body was found, um, he, yeah, his body was found on the day that, uh, Buddhists celebrate the Buddha's birthday, so having said that, you know, Nirvana, right, his band, Nirvana, a key concept in Buddhism, you know, it's the highest state of being, and, uh, having said that, Buddhist is a word equating to 48, and the phrase middle way also equals 48, because, uh, the concept or the philosophy of the middle way is central in Buddhism. It's almost like the Taoist, you know, the Taoist philosophy of just flowing, not rushing, but not being too slow either. It's like, be like water. It's kind of like that. They're very similar. But uh, anyways, the day that Buddha died is um, also known as Buddha Janti, however you pronounce that. But that phrase, this highlighted phrase here because I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, equals 48 as well. Finally, Kurt's body was found a span of 48 days before this movie called Little Buddha released. Now, let me further explain the significance of that. Obviously, the title, Little Buddha, there's the connection there, you know, it's obvious, but it gets deeper. It gets deeper. So... In a nutshell, the movie Little Buddha is about a boy who is believed to be the reincarnation of a great Buddhist teacher named Lama Dorje. The boy that played the main character in the movie is a little boy with blonde hair, kind of resembling Kurt. But, uh, yeah, that little boy, blonde-headed boy, he, and his family lived in Seattle. Again, where Kurt Cobain died, where the grunge movement took off. You know, you got to think about all this. I mean, it's, it's just the chances. So, the actor that played this little boy in the movie, he was born on the same day that Kurt Cobain would later die on. Just keep that in mind for what's coming up ahead. Alright, so now we're going to go to the two connections to the number 22. Uh, Nirvana's first album, Bleach, is a name equating to 22. 
Kurt was 22 at the time of its release, and he was born on February 20th, 2 slash 20, remove that zero because it's valueless, 22, right? Not to mention, it's also a date with numerology of 22. His infamous wife, Courtney Love, was born on July the 9th, you know, 7 slash 9, like 79. And 79 is the 22nd prime number. Like I said, Nirvana, a key concept in Buddhism. Buddha equals 22. And Nirvana equals 79. Which again, is the 22nd prime number. Kurt's body was found a span of 220 days before the anniversary of the settlement of the city of Seattle. Um, you know, 220. Right again, remove that zero because it's valueless. Another 22 connection. But finally, and interestingly enough, Nirvana's most popular song, Smells Like Teen Spirit, released 202 days after Kurt's birthday. Okay, so going back to this post, the movie Little Buddha came out on the day leaving 220 days in the year. Again, remove that zero because it's valueless. Another 22 connection. So, how I said this movie is about a Tibet, is about Tibetan Buddhist monks searching for a child who is the rebirth of a great Buddhist teacher, Lama Dorje. That name equates to seventy nine. Again, the twenty second prime number. I believe it. Yeah, I believe in Jewish gematria, the phrase "middle way" equals thirteen seventy three, which is the two hundred and twentieth prime number. The phrase Eastern mysticism also equals 220. Buddhism is a part of Eastern mysticism. Another uh, key concept in Buddhism is the Eightfold Path. The phrase Eightfold Path equals uh, 220. And in Jewish gematria, monks equals 220. I mean, that's pretty crazy, don't you think? But you know... Buddha, the Buddha was a master. Master equals 22. You could call him a guru. Guru equals 22. Yeah, well, 22 is a master number. So how fitting, right? That master equals 22. 22 is the middle master number in between 11 and 33. Also, of course, you know, meditation is very, you know, a very uh, important practice in spirituality period but you know of course in buddhism but you know the the root word in the word meditation is medi and that is a uh latin word meaning middle and medi m e d i equals 22 in one of the four base ciphers i forgot which one and the 22nd letter of the alphabet, which is V, rise right in the middle of the word nirvana. You know, interesting given the connection to the middle way to hop back to this post. You know, finally, Kurt died 44 days after his birthday. Shooting equals 44. As he allegedly shot himself, Seattle equals 44. Cobain equals 44, kill equals 44, and execution equals 44. Because I said he allegedly shot himself. That's the story the mainstream wants to pump down your throat. That's not the truth. But anyways, it's definitely worth pointing out that the Chinese words for four and death sound similar. And of course, the word death starts with the letter D, which is the fourth letter. So, this is why four symbolizes death in Chinese culture. Um, of course, we were talking about connections to 44, 4 being the rep digit. But yeah, that, that's all I had to say for this one. Uh, make sure to check out every single one of these related posts. Everyone mentions Kurt Cobain. So, you know, support the work by like. Liking, sharing, subscribing, just put it out there because this all needs to be known for real. I forgot 
to explain to you guys for the, you know, that don't know, uh, that Kurt Cobain's suicide note actually read on the top of it, uh, to Bada. Bada was the name of, uh, Kurt's imaginary childhood friend, a name he derived from Buddha, as he al was allegedly into Buddhist teachings at a young age. Of course, why he named his band Nirvana. Yeah, and like I said, his body was found on the day that Buddha was supposedly born. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys on this puzzle with Kurt Cobain. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.